Hi everybody and welcome to another Bite Size Branding where we cover up a subject in branding in five minutes or less. My name is Bernard from Ucidity and today I'm going it alone to do a special article about a subject that recently came up with a client. They asked me how do you come up with a brand name and we offer a brand naming service but I said look there's a couple of little rules that you can follow to get this done so I thought I'd share them with you today. The first is uh, if you have a team feel free to kind of integrate them into the process of renaming the brand. It's a great way of getting them to onboard and feel like a part of the whole process. Once you've started that process, you really want to build a foundation. So the first thing is brain dump. Get everything and every thought down onto the page. If it's sayings, taglines, excerpts from quotes, specific words, uh, terms that you use within the business that really capture the unique parts of your business, just throw them all down onto a page. What you want to do from there is then there are certain words that are going to pump out to you that really, really define the business and the brand that you want to create. So circle those words. Now you're going to do a bit of a drill down. So pull out your thesaurus, pull out your dictionary, pull out um, other languages, origins of words, do all the research you can about these words and these phrases and really drill down onto the essence of what makes those unique to your business you'll start to find unique words that kind of come out from there that are fun to play with and you can explore those further and further. The next is then once you've start, started to get your short list, how do you take those words and make them a unique name for your business? Now you might be able to get the word if you're lucky and you can check online and see if the word's already registered. If it's not, then good to go. If it is, how can you take words and combine them to create a unique name like ours, Lucidity, um, which comes from lucidity uh, and to create a word that is unique to you. So how can you combine those words? Is it combining two English words? Is it combining an English word with another word from another language? Is it using the origin of the word or a synonym of the word? So see how you can blend those words. Another couple, key, a couple of key things to kind of keep in mind is uh, how can you make the word a verb? So you know how people say just Google it or are you going to tweet that or you know how they abbreviated Vodafone to just Voda when you're speaking in more common language? Is there a way you can play off the name that, that makes it a phrase or can be used in common language? This will give you a little bit of leverage. It, it makes it a little bit more sticky for your customers. Um, make sure you keep it short. You don't want it more than around seven or eight letters. Then it gets too hard to spell and people forget the spelling and the letters and everything. Um, when you come up with a unique name as well, try and make it phonetic so that people can kind of spell it as they say it. If the word is too hard to spell, then people will always be like, oh, you know that company, how do you spell it again? And then, you know, it gets messed and lost in the translation. Then you're Googling and trying to figure out, is this the brand that I was thinking of? Um, from there, uh, you know, see how you use uh, your vowels in, in the word. Uh, a lot of more modern uh, brands, tech brands, apps, are using a lot of I's and Y's. Uh, they kind of have a very fresh and light feel to them. Um, you know, like your Shopify's, your Taxify, Lucidity. Um, it just has a fresh feel to it. Um, it's a bit more bounce off those I's and Y letters within uh, a word. Uh, your A's and E's are a little bit more sharp uh, and they're great for uh, a more proactive word. Uh, so just those little things to keep in mind when you're, when you're kind of cupping, coming up with the the words that you could potentially use, then mind map the whole thing, break it all down, figure out how everything connects, figure out what words kind of link two or three of the really key um, uh, unique positionings from your business. And I'll take maybe four or five unique positionings and make them centric to your mind map. So once you've, all, you've done all that and you think, yes, I've come up with two or three amazing names, these are incredible. Now it gets to the hard bit. Googling it. Check it out on Google. Go to ASIC to see if it's uh, if it's already taken or you can register it. Google it to see if any other businesses or brands are using it. Even go to Facebook and do a search on Facebook. See who's using it, if anyone's using it. If not, then great. Your next stop is your domain. See if you can get the domain for it. Um, and once you've done all that, hopefully one of those awesome names you've come up with is spot on. And you register that baby before anyone else does. And that is your new brand name. So hopefully you could take something that this uh, from this away with you and 
apply it the next time you're looking at either starting a new brand or rebranding a current company, or you're working with a client to rebrand or reposition their brand. A rename might be what helps them get there. So, you know, feel free to leave some comments, questions. Uh, we're always looking for new topics to cover off around the brand space. Uh, check out our articles about all this in our previous videos and we'll look forward to seeing you on our next video. See you later.